Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing the 2008 Subaru Stella. It's got 83,000 kilometers. What? Yeah, sorry. It's got 83,000 kilometers on it, which is about 51,000 miles. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price is saying on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving in Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside, but first, before I break a leg out here, um, just, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. <laughs> Man, I'm having a hard time here. Go over, a lot, uh, go over a lot of information. My video is going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Honda or the Subaru Stella is a four passenger vehicle in the yellow plate category. So the smaller category. Road tax per year is going to be 3,000 yen, which is about uh, 26 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April time frame. So April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next. Now you, do, uh, you do have two options to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows up, a little, roll down a, a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important, for, uh, more important feature, but I can't talk right now. I have no idea, <laughs> no idea why. More important feature of that, it's going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. Okay, so with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. All right, key fob on your person. It is a push start, so foot on the brake. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, not a push start. Foot on the brake, and you just turn it over as if the key was in there. Not a push start. So I've been doing too many videos now, so let me lower this. Turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. Put those key files back in the door handle. Squeeze this in here. Okay, 82,919 on the odometer. Uh, showed a couple of warning lights. Uh, that blue one right there is your new temperature gauge. So it's gonna be blue when the engine's cool. When the engine warms up, it'll go away. Then it'll be right if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. The one to the right of that, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do get tickets on and off base. And that circular one is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge, okay? This one's a kick tight. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Well, then that's a very simple, straightforward shred head instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? Off the left here, you have your radio with a little compartment here for some storage, air conditioning controls, your shifter, you got a, um, a lighter there or a power outlet, uh, nothing down here for storage. Then continuing off the left, you have this uh, small glove box, and then a little compartment here, I don't know what you'll put there, and a cup holder on that side. Uh, then you have a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. Uh, this is the space I have on my side. Let me see. Okay, so hold on a second. The seat wasn't all the way down. The seat is all the way back, and now it's all the way down. Um, I am five alone, as everybody loves knowing. Uh, for me, I'm kind of cramped in here. Um, I I need about two to three more. Uh, I could drive, but I, I need about two or three more inches of space to be comfortable. Okay? Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All right. Alright, and uh, I'd like to take this time to show you the aux sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle. Well, these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can in all our cars. Alright, so this is graded uh, 3.5 from the auction with a uh, C and B on the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade for it, and that's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side. Alright, so let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. I'm just going to turn this off. And I should have failed to mention that if uh, the key battery dies in the uh, key fob, you can slide this over. This comes out like a regular key to put in there, okay? All right. So on the right side, you do have a little compartment for some cords and whatnot. This side also does have a, um, a cup holder. And then this guy right there, that's uh, to control the angle of your headlights. Okay, so maybe it's a foggy morning. You want to see the street a little better. That's where you're going to do it from, okay? And then uh, down here on the side, you have your hood release. And then please don't forget on the floor here, you have your gas cover release. And then you have a mirror uh, window and door lock controls all right there on the door panel. Okay, let's go to the back seat here. Again, sorry, it's a little cramped here. So there's your rear space for the back seat. Now remember, I said I needed about two or three more uh, 
inches up here um, to be a little more comfortable. I have two inches back here, so why they didn't uh, uh, have this slide back a little bit more is beyond me. And as I'm looking, of course, I, I forgot the armrest slash console, console that's going to give you a little extra space. Okay. All right. So uh, each seat uh, or the driver's seat does have this uh, pocket for some storage. And it has a little uh, zipper here, maybe put, uh, put some personal items in there. Who knows? Kind of defeats the purpose if people can see the zipper. Okay, just be careful what you put in there. You can see how this is uh, uh, kind of lagging a little bit. Somebody probably had something too large in there, and that's why it's lagging. Okay, and then you have a hard cover here because this one, if you pull this tab up, it will actually uh, go down flat. Okay, and then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel, and then no center console or anything else like that. So again, let me see if I don't break, break a leg here. Oh, sorry, I just didn't want to move the vehicle. Try to save some time doing all these videos. And here's your rear space. Now, if you need to, you can obviously you can recline these if you want to, or you can push these forward and have it go flat. Uh, you're gonna have that hump there. Okay. I'm gonna go this way since I'm already on this way. It does have some pretty nice aftermarket wheels on there. Spice it up a little bit. But let's show you the engine compartment. They're gonna wrap this video up. And then you have the uh, big powerhouse 660 cc engine okay nice and clean so there you go uh 2008 subaru uh stella what did i say 58 no 80 almost 83,000 kilometers on it which is about 51,000 miles military price goes down to 4300 with additional military discount we'll get it down to 4100 again uh while you're here please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this but for now the 4100 will include a two-year jci the one-year bumper to bumper full warranty the new 2023 Rotax and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement where they go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, uh, check out the condition of the vehicles and their mileage, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it. US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount, uh, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.